if you work on enough watch movements, no matter how long you've been doing this, you're going to have an end stone that gets away from you. Well, here's a tip that will not only save you money, but it will also save you a lot of aggravation. If the jewel is from a vintage movement, you're probably going to need to buy a donor movement to replace the jewel. And if it's from a modern movement, at the very least, you're going to need to replace the entire jewel setting. To easily find a watch jewel, all you need is this inexpensive UV flashlight. Now, I've bought the $6 ones, and what I found is that they all had problems with the on-off switch not working right. The one I'm happy with now that I keep in my drawer has a really nice build quality, and it's rechargeable from a USB port. Considering that it costs less than one jewel setting, or a donor movement for that matter, this is really a no-brainer. It's not a matter of if you will need it. It's a matter of when you're going to need it. Now, if you have a jewel get away from you, the first thing you want to do is stop and freeze your position. Use the UV flashlight first to check your arm and chest area, then shine it on your bench. The UV light turns the jewel into a bright red dot, making it stand out from everything else on your bench. Now, once you spot the jewel, consider that maybe your tweezers need to be dressed or you need to use a lighter touch when you're handling and picking up jewels. And there you have it, finding watch jewels. Now you know.